Welcome to this palms demonstration video for the sun change paper activity. We're going to be looking for evidence that energy from the sun can change things by exposing some different coloured materials to the sun. It's best to do this activity when you know it's going to be sunny weather for a few days. For this activity, you're going to need two pieces of A4 size paper, a ruler, a pen or marker, some glue, a range of different colours of highlighters or different colours of paper. Post-it notes work really well. We're going to use both of them to show you how they both work. Also, a clipboard or something to hold down your paper as you may want to put it outside. When we're doing science investigations, it's important to make it a fair test. What does a cow have to do with this? An easy way to remember how to do a fair test is using the saying cows move softly. The C stands for change one thing. In this investigation, we'll be changing the colour of the highlighters or paper. The M stands for measure one thing. We will be measuring which colour changes the most. The S stands for everything else stays the same. So we need to make sure all other things in our investigation are kept the same. For example, the size of our pieces of coloured paper. Firstly, cut your pieces of coloured paper to the same size. Be careful with the scissors. If you're using post-it notes, cut them in half. Next, take your two pieces of A4 paper, fold them in half, and then draw a line down the centre. At the top of one half, write the word control. On the other half, write the word experiment. Do the same on both pieces of A4 paper. If you choose to use highlighters, in big thick letters, write the name of the colour on both the control and experiment sides of the page. Take your time with your writing. We've sped it up a little so you don't just have to watch this video all day. If you choose to use coloured paper or post-it notes, glue the pieces across the line you've drawn in the centre of the page. Try and have the same amount of paper on each side of the line. Again, don't rush it. It's important they're all well stuck. Carefully cut the A4 piece of paper down the line you've drawn separating the control and experiment pieces. Maybe get an adult to help if you need. The two control papers will stay inside, away from the sun, so we can compare them to the experiment pages later. Make a prediction. Which colour do you think will change the most in the sun? The experiment paper needs to be put in a sunny spot, either outside or in a sunny window that is not tinted. Make sure you put it somewhere where it won't be disturbed or moved, and if it's outside, you might like to use a clipboard or something else to weight down the edges. Leave it in the sun for a few days. The longer you leave it, the better your result will be. Now, compare the control and experiment papers. Which highlighter colour changed the most? Which paper colour changed the most? Was your prediction correct? So let's check we did a fair test. Pause the video and answer these questions. What did we change? What did we measure? And did everything else stay the same? This investigation showed us that the energy from the sun can change things. Can you think of other things around home that can be changed by the sun's energy too? Thanks for watching. Don't forget you can find lots more fun, hands-on earth science activities on the Palms website, palms.edu.au.